Hi friend, Jean Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about keeping your commitments to your family and your business and it's Christmas Eve it's Christmas Eve or is it right maybe it is maybe it's not it is because you're watching this on Christmas Eve and I have my Santa hat I have my gift wrap that I got to get ready and get all my gifts wrapped I'm going to just put this aside to continue here but this is Christmas Eve it's Christmas Eve and one of the things when you're building a business online is you have to balance you know work and family right you got to balance those things and one of the things that everybody struggles with whether it's Christmas or other time of the year is balancing it all and we're going to talk about the at least two if not more secrets on how to balance it and how to keep your commitments to family and your business over the holidays we're going to talk about that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, it's possible for you to keep your commitments to your family and to your business. You know, for me, in my business, I do... Uh, I, I've had a commitment for a long time. Over the, uh, the a couple of years, I was doing a video every single day, whether it was Christmas whether it was Easter whether it was whatever I would do a video and <laughs> you might be thinking well how do you do that I mean how do you do that on Christmas on Christmas Eve or or New Year's Eve or those days that people you know that you have a family you got things to do you got a, you got families uh, suppers to attend to you got all these different things of course right now with COVID it's kind of like well nobody gets together and everything but we still have family commitments we still have things we want to do so how do you accomplish that how do you you know how do I keep that commitment to do my video right now my current commitment is once a week every single Friday I do a video and this year New Year's Eve is Friday that's why you're seeing my Santa hat right now this is New Year's Eve before we get into the secret actually I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video at cis387.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because you know I'm saying I got this Santa hat you definitely need to see that on the video if you're listening to the audio right so go check it out and the blog post also is going to cover some of what I'm talking about here which will make it easier to follow possibly if you like reading blog posts right all right so how do you keep those commitments there are a few things like I said there's at least two secrets that I'm going to cover about that there's two things that you need to remember when you're thinking about okay how do I keep those commitments first of all to keep your commitment with family is make it a priority make your family a priority and that's that's not actually the secret because the secret is uh, should I tell you the secret what the secret is what is the secret to really really make, keeping the commitments to your family it's not just doing it it's not just doing it and of course you have to do that that's because you know if your family's not there like what's the point of having a business and generating income and making sales and all those things and making even millions right if your family's not there to enjoy it with you right and that happens when you're not keeping your commitments to your family and you're putting your business as a priority right so you have to keep your family as a priority that's de definitely and you I hear I'm hearing people out there you know you might be thinking well but I I can't I got this I if I don't do this my family's never going to be able to enjoy the benefits and if I don't how how do you know my my spouse doesn't support me though all those things I, I heard it because I I felt like that before but now with this secret that I'm about to reveal I like to take time to reveal secrets with, with the secret that I'm about to reveal you're going to think like oh okay and it's really not that hard but it does take an effort because you actually you probably don't even realize that you need to do that you because 
well let's face it we all think that everybody can read our minds we all think that we can do something and especially if we say well I want to do this you know every every like me for example right I do uh, my video every week right if I say I'm going to do a video every single uh, Friday right that means I got to record it on Thursday I gotta I gotta prepare the blog post I gotta post it on Friday and everything has to be ready for me to be able to post it which means I have to spend time there and I have to spend time there and I have to spend time there and then I can do it right I say that and I expect that that's just known right but the thing is that it's not it's not automatically known because my priorities are not the priorities of the rest of the family right the rest of the family has their own priorities they don't have time to constantly remember what else is going on obviously the secret helps with that or actually makes it so that they remember but it's not about you know telling them it's well it's kind of that because the secret itself is communication you gotta have communication now you might have heard that from all sorts of different sources right sources that tell you that communication is the key to you know a healthy relationship it's a uh, communication is the key to a healthy marriage it's communicate it's the key to healthy parent ch children re relationships it's a secret to to understanding your teen communication is a secret to having a good job it's it's a secret to everything communication is the secret to everything including keeping your commitments to your business and your family over the holidays now this applies on any other kind of schedule or any of the other things that are happening right if you have something happening that's a priority because it's part of your family it's either an event or maybe even having to go to the hospital you know things that have to happen right how do you keep your commitments to your community to your business because you know if you say to your uh, fans that you're going to be doing a video every single week well they expect that and if you don't deliver on that they will not believe you when you say it later right because you're not keeping your commitment to them but how do you keep your commitment to your community to your business at the same time keeping your commitment to your family right your family takes takes precedence so how do you do it so like I said there's communication and well, how does how does communication work how does it work communication to make sure that they uh to to make sure that you're you're well that you can keep these commitments right so the communication is is pretty pretty straightforward you basically have to let your family know that you have these you know things that you'd like to accomplish in your business right so that's the communication part where you are constantly talking about well not constantly obviously you can't be constantly in in the sense of every minute every day <coughs> but you know once a week maybe twice a week you want to at least have the conversation of okay what's what's going on this week what am I doing this week what do I need to actually deliver what is it that uh, is expected and and especially when there's other commitments to family that you want to also keep how do you so there's there's a communication right that has to happen you have to have the communication to be able to so that you're both on the same the, well so that the family's on the same page and your business obviously you can't communicate to your business I'm and you know some people say say well you should tell your audience right oh well you know this is the holidays I'm not going to be working so you can communicate to your audience right but the problem is that communicating to your audience is first of all they're not they're not always there there but, but if they're used to you being there every Friday for example they're going to come on the Friday to expect you there right and you're not there they are not necessarily going to see unless of course you're I mean there is ways but I'm that's just not what I recommend what I recommend is the second secret which is about using scheduling it's about using scheduling now you can use that in practically every single platform you can schedule a post you can schedule a live video you can schedule a, an upload you can schedule a, a blog post even all those things can all be scheduled ahead of time so that they happen the on the moment that their people are expecting it right so for example in my case I can actually schedule 
like what I do right now I'm recording a video you like I said I'm you're going to be listening to this on Christmas Eve on the 24th of December 2021 that's when you're going to be seeing this you might listen to it later but I'm it's it's for the 24th I'm recording it ahead of time and that's the thing you can record ahead of time and you can publish on those days using scheduling right so that means normally see normally I would do my videos like every week most most weeks it's basically the same schedule it's on the Thursday before I start work I actually record my video right so on the Thursday before I start work I record my 30 to 40 minute video then during lunchtime on Thursday I write up my blog post or at least most of it and on the Friday morning before I start work I finish up my blog post and I also make sure that I do the subtitles on the video and other things like that oh by the way in the morning I record it and I, I upload it to YouTube as well because I need it to uh, auto generate the subtitles anyways I use those auto generated subtitles to actually um download them and then I edit them a bit so that they're fixed and then I put them back right but that takes a day so that's why I need to upload the video uh the day before so I do that uh in the morning I after I recorded it I upload it so that I can get the subtitles by the next day and that's kind of how YouTube it's, it seems to take about a day it might change it might be different some days and other days but that's kind of my that's why that's my schedule so I know it takes about a day I need to record the video I need to upload it then I need to wait a day before I can get the subtitles right but in the meantime I write the blog post I write the blog article and that means that by the time that my blog post is ready my video is subtitles already I do all these other things there's syndication content and screenshots and things like that that I do I do all that you know before the Friday I start work so that at noon on Friday I can publish everything so it takes me you know I've done a, a blog post about that before when I do the syndication it takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to um post to YouTube make it public right make the blog post public share it on LinkedIn share it on Facebook as actually a live on Facebook I should probably start doing a live on LinkedIn because I have li live now on LinkedIn um also on Twitter I share a short video and I share it on BitCloud I share it on uh Instagram and sometimes and then and then after that I do a story on Snapchat Instagram Facebook and sometimes TikTok and even MeWe MeWe is one of those other uh, uh social networks I do that there sometimes too so that's those are the secrets right communication and scheduling uh or would it, would it be called is it scheduling or is it called uh pre pre it's anyways publishing publishing in the future right so you set a future date for your published post to publish content in uh YouTube so let me I uh, can I show you that I got videos that are not published I guess I couldn't really show you on Facebook um I could show you on my blog post let me share my screen here and show you kind of how that works on my blog post let's just go to the screen to my screen share actually I'm doing my I'm just starting out the I was just starting out the blog post there so you can see right here that the blog post has actually you can't see let me just make this into one of those smaller sized windows so you can kind of see the whole thing <coughs> that didn't work because it's oversized down the bottom there <laughs> sorry my cough is still there if you've been following me any length of time you know I've been coughing a little bit for quite a while just uh and it's nothing serious I have no fever no nothing so everything's good okay so um okay so whenever you're publishing a post you can publish it immediately right so I can write up this whole blog post right get it all ready for when I publish it and then when I'm ready to publish I just click the publish button right but if I want I can change this to publish you know December 24th at let's say 12.05 p.m right so when I do that oops um when I do that you see the date sets right here 
and then when I click on the instead of see the how the how the button changed the schedule so I would just click on this and on that date it would publish it of course it's got to be all ready and everything for you to do that so that's how you do it in a blog post right on WordPress now if you go to uh, like say, say I go to Facebook on Facebook I'm I can't do that on Facebook because I in the way I do it because I publish using OBS as a live but if I was to upload a video I could actually do that I could just you know when you create a post right on Facebook you can just say schedule your post right uh under creator studio you can do publishing options right that kind of stuff so you can actually schedule your post to show up in the future right so you can do that with Facebook you can do that and then you can use other tools right you can use tools like say for example only wire I have only wire I also use uh I also use um buffer and I use uh what's the other one only wire buffer and uh, well let's just log into buffer what's the other one what's the other one buffer um I'm trying to remember but anyways with only wire you can tell it to post something in the future if you want right and same thing with buffer buffer is a is basically a queue of things you want to publish and right now my queues are mostly empty because it's been a while since I've done I have some on LinkedIn here oh I guess there's errors uh, so I guess I I have to reconnect but anyways once it once when everything is all connected you can actually share to those uh, platforms what's the other one there's another one I use I used to use I if this then that and actually that's still kind of set up for some stuff um but I only wire and buffer and what's the other thing I actually have it in my let's put the bookmarks in much bar show the bar under my branding maybe I can find it in here mm, social there's so much stuff right over the years I've accumulated lots of links to lots of different things and I'm not sure uh what it is so social media tools oh there it is status brew or crowdfire I guess I haven't used it so I guess it's only wire the buffer is not even there video tools I got videos and different things online course info Russell Brunson image tools hmm. So I'm not sure I'm not sure where that other tool is I guess it it's it is buffer and only wire <coughs> I thought there was another tool I had oh and it's coming back to me except I can't remember I'll I'll come anyways whatever so the idea is that you can schedule through these other third-party tools two different social media platforms right so you can have it so that and this one here like for example if I go look at my queue I've got these things that I guess there's other things that didn't connect here but um if I look at my oh networks that's what I want to look at so my network you can have only wire here you can have all these different networks right you can have Facebook page Facebook group a Twitter Pinterest LinkedIn Reddit slash dot and paper Interview. so whenever you post uh, like me whenever I post a blog post it goes to all those but you can use it to also schedule something in the future if you want right and um and most platforms have this kind of ability Instagram lets you schedule a post so you could do like say you wanted to do a post on on your on New Year's New Year's Eve right you want to do a post you want to make sure that you have your blog post done you want to make sure your video on YouTube is is published on that day you can actually get it all ready ahead of time like right now I'm doing it in the evening usually I do it in the morning right I'm recording this in the evening and it's uh it's actually like almost 10 9 well it's almost 10 p.m now and normally I record this in the morning right but it doesn't really matter as because it's a recording I do and then I publish it later I can record anytime I want right and it, that's kind of how you keep those commitments you you make sure you have conversations with your family make sure that they know 
what you need to do and you'll be surprised at how supportive they can be when you consider them by just talking to them right about what you need what you want M me I remember I used to be like just assuming that they knew how important it was to me right and that just doesn't work and yeah sure they know it's important but it's it's so much easier when you just you know just talk about it make sure that it's clear make sure that it you know just okay what do you need I need you know two hours okay well when can you when can I when can I find those two hours to do this right and sometimes it's not exactly when you would maybe do it whenever you would choose if you were to do it but at the same time you're considering them and the other schedule and the family and everything else that's going on so it's super important to communicate so that you know what is the best way to approach things and that still allows you to keep your commitment to your business to your audience right to your social media family as well that's your you know outside of the house family that your followers and your fans and all those people right that do also like to see your content and like to follow you and like to know what you're about right so for me to do this for you know Christmas uh New Year's Eve right uh, not New Year's Eve Christmas Eve because it's going to be you're watching this on the 24th it's a 24th of December episode you can actually see if I look at my my list of uh my episode list right when I look at my list of episode course income secrets right these are all my course income secrets you can see right here the one we're recording right now is the 24th of December so last week was 17th the 10th third right so those are Fridays that's the day that I publish that's been the day that I published since when since uh let's see 221.01 since the beginning of 2021 or no I guess I did a few I think it's in the beginning of the year yeah see look at that last year at the end of the year I was doing them every single day as you can see here right well Monday to Friday and that has been had been going on for a long time and I guess in January uh is that when I started the 31st the 4th the 5th no see I was still doing them every day here until 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 oh two oh two I think until March was it March 12 19 there you go <laughs> until March yeah see March 4 5 and then I went to 12 right so until March 5th I was doing it every single day imagine that so I would record a video in the evening or in the morning before starting work and I would actually during the lunchtime I would I would create the blog post and everything and then at, after work I would publish it right so that's kind of what I was doing every single day and that's like totally insane isn't it right especially when you have a day job uh but after that March I decided to do it once a week I figured that would allow me to do a better you know better spend a little bit more time on the content spend a little more time on the on the video itself and maybe think through the topic a little bit more so I did that and now I've been doing it for a week since then since March 2021 so it's going to be well it's not a year yet it's going to be a year in March obviously so another three months to go before it's a year but that's probably kind of what I'm going to keep doing because my goal is to do course income secrets secrets to course income generation to to residual income from the course from e-learning right that's kind of what my my tagline is all about right and that's and that's it that's that's how you keep your commitment to your family and your business over the holidays so not just over the holidays right over any time of year right any time of year you can actually go to that you can use this strategy this thing talking communicating and scheduling any time of year no matter what you want to do right no matter what you're trying to accomplish whether it's whether it's you know uh Easter St Patrick's Day Valentine's um what else is there <laughs> Halloween um I'm trying to remember what other holidays there's not that many other holidays we we celebrate other than yeah other than Christmas right so Christmas and New Year's so those are all holidays that are important to to me to our family but I also want to make sure that my community my fans my business is also feels that I'm following 
my commitments and my commitments are not you know doing live in the middle of the day when I'm sh I should be with my family my commitments are doing posts on those days so that they can keep following me they can see contents from me and you know that's just that's just me uh, uh look at that Santa because Santa is sick of your <laughs> so anyways that's yeah so that's how you keep your promises so how you keep your commitments to your family and to your business all right so again happy happy holidays Merry Christmas to you and you know if you don't see my if I if you don't see what my new year's uh, video as well happy new year and we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great Christmas this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time